All right, misinformed with Sam. So this is a common misconception I have been hearing about. Most people would look at these two images of puppies and they'd think that they're the same image. But actually, they are completely different, as can be seen by the com distinct differences here, here, and here. This is because this puppy is not a puppy at all, and is an, actually an extremely dangerous variant of cat, as can be seen by the different jawline structure, pointier tail, and enlarged ears. Now, you may be saying, Sam, that looks nothing like a cat. And you would be correct. Moving on. As you can see here, we have two pieces of string. If you were to take these two pieces of string and tie them at one end, and then proceed to twist said str pieces of string together, you would end up with a string that is twice as strong. This is known as string theory, and is accredited to the renowned scientist and inventor Albert String in 1641. More known for his invention of string itself and his later years, rope. Now, most of you have probably seen these items before, but for those of you who haven't, uh, fork, spoon, and knife. It may surprise you to know, however, that you are using them incorrectly as, no, as we no longer use them for their original purpose. While we use these to eat our food today, back in the day, forks, spoons, and knives were actually used as small gardening tools. While they began to build traction as eating utensils in the late 40s, it wasn't until the early 50s that they became commonplace on the dinner table. That's all, that's all I've got for today.